Welcome to the Pokemon Uprising. I'm your leader, the Defy One, aka Sharp to Queen Four, and today I am bringing you the ninth episode of our Pokemon Red Randomizer Nuzlocke, or Randomizer for short. So, as you can see, I am right in front of Snorlax, so that means that I do have the Poke Flute from being Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town. So now we are actually going to use this thing. We're going to fight him with Bruce. I already have a capture on this route, so I'm not going to be able to catch him. Uh, Poke Flute, go ahead, use it. Played the Poke Flute. Snorlax woke up and attacked in a grumpy rage. I'm not afraid of you, Snorlax. I'm just gonna double kick you in the face. I'm gonna double kick you. What? No. What did he do? What the fuck was that? Why? What did I do to you? I know I double kicked you in the face, but I don't care. You didn't even kill me. Oh, fuck you anyway. I hate you, Snorlax. Get out of here. I don't even like you. Go back to the mountains and die alone, you fat fuck. Bitch. Anyway, he's going into the PC. I'm very grumpy. This is a wonderful start to the episode. Not even a minute in, and we already lost a Pokemon. What are you... St Ugh! This is so stupid. This game is stupid. I hate this game. I can't wait for this game to be done. I don't care if I lose or if I win. This game is stupid. I think I can actually catch... I, I think I can get Fly up here, actually. Even though there's nothing that I have that can learn Fly right now. It's just going to be useful to have, just in case I do catch something. Um, Let's see what we got over here. This this chick here is just, like, hiding away. And give me HMO2. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What does this guy say? How, would you, how did you get in? Good effort. Oh, well, uh, it was a loss that I really didn't need because he was such a great member of the team. And he would have been very powerful, especially once he learned high jump kick. But I'm going to switch Mojo Jojo to the front, and I'm going to psychic everything in my path. Because they deserve to die. I'm going to fight this guy. He has a Growlithe. I can just go for Psybeam. There's no point to waste it. If it's like if I know it's going to Oko. These Pokemon are actually decently leveled. Oh, god damn it. Chansey's he's going to live everything except for physical hits, so you're going to put me to sleep. I'm going to go for headbutts. And Wigglytuff is coming in. See, this would be the ideal time to have Hitmonlee. Because Hitmonlee is the only Pokemon we had that had fighting type moves. And it's so stupid. Anyway, Mojo Jojo is now officially level 37. I had to look at the number again. And Cloyster gets a Psychic. Everybody gets a Psychic. And Psybeam for you. Okay, apparently they didn't get a Psychic. And we're going to go for another Psychic. And wow, 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 wow. 1,357 experience. Are you kidding me? And Mojo Jojo is now officially level 38. I feel like going and dropping off some stuff into uh, into the PC in terms of items. Open up a few item slots because there are items like the town map that I will never use. Because I know where everything is. I know where everything is in this game. We're going to, oh no 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 well, I didn't mean to do that. We're going to get rid of the town map. I'm going to deposit the dome fossil and the SS ticket and the old rod. HM05, HM01, Moonstone, Camo7. I don't need you. I don't need you. And I think that's about it. Because as a matter of fact, you can still use the Poke Flute in battle. If any Pokemon gets put to sleep, how did I not remember that? When I actually went to, when I was fighting that Chansey and she used Sing, I could have just used Poke Flute and woke up Dugong. Are you kidding me? And now we're going to fight this guy? Oh no. I feel so bad. And Shelter's coming in. I'm going to stay in and go for Psybeam. Get out of here. Doug Trio, go for Psybeam. Get out of here. Alakazam is arguably the, one of the most powerful Pokemon in this entire game. I can actually catch something here. I'm going to go see what I can catch. Come here. Come to Papa. It's a Butterfree. Who wants a Butterfree? It's only good for catching more Pokemon, really. Oh, don't hurt yourself. Oh, you motherfucker. Why could you not keep it together, man? I go for Psybeams. And I Psychic. I'm going to Psychic this Charizard. Get out. Operator, like the board game. Hey, you stop that. 
And Shelter is going to get a side beam. Hondra is going to get a side beam. And that's it for those two. And Mojo Jojo is actually level 39 right now. So he's actually a really high level. I'm going to switch into QB. As long as my Pokemon get like around level 43 by the time I get to Koga and everything, I'm fine with that. Gonna go for. I'm gonna go for Dig. And. No! You die. I defeat. His name is actually Biker. I am now impressed. I randomized everything and he retained his name. I'm very impressed. At least he has such a strong sense of identity. And now we're gonna go for Flamethrower. You're dead. Starmie. I don't like Starmie. No friends. I'm not friends with Starmie. And Arcanine, to which I can actually go into Cloven and go for Bubble Beam. He's going to be my Surf Slave for show. I'm going to go into you and go for Flamethrowers anyway. Even though it's not very effective, it's effective enough. Get out. And Rapidash is coming in, which I can use Dig on. And you die. You died. You died so hard. And now, don't make this difficult for me. Don't make it more difficult than it needs to be anyway. And we're going to go for a double, bit, a double edge, a double bidge. And Charmeleon can catch this nice and powerful bubble beam. Get out, get out, get out. Da, 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 da. Jose, Thunderbolt, Wartoro, Thunderbolt. And man, this game is just getting ridiculous. He's, he, like, I feel like I'm just spouting out the moves that I'm using. Which I am really doing, but like, you know... This game is just making this, like, it's just too easy for me right now. Because I'm so overleveled, it's just stupid. I can actually catch Pokemon down here because it's a different route, believe it or not. And we have, I'm going to go fight these two idiots too. Three idiots. It's like, Larry, Curly, and Moe right now. Anyway, dig, 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 dig. I'm going to send in them a chop. I'm going to go for a flamethrower. And defeat a bug catcher, the bird watcher. I'm going to go for flamethrowers and a jinx, which I can go for another flamethrower. Super effective. Not even bad. And slowpoke. I can't flamethrower. God damn it. I'm going to go for digs. And you are dead. And I'm going to switch out into Jose, actually. I'm going to see what I can catch here. And a Pidgeotto. Great. Well, at least it's a Pokemon that can use fly, anyway. Pidgeotto is now caught, is very protective of its sprawling territorial area. This Pokemon will fiercely peck at any intruder. What name will I give Pidgeotto? Um, blah, 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 um I'm gonna call it Birdie. I'm so creative when it comes to names like this. Oh wow, wow, wow. Anyway, we are now officially in Fuchsia City. Fuchsia Town. City? Town. There are two things we need to do here that are very important. We need to not only beat the gym, but we also need to get the HM for Surf, which is in the Safari Zone. And the reason why I need it to get I need to get Surf is because I need it to traverse to Cinnabar Island, which is just south from Pallet Town, right where we began the game, as a matter of fact. And that's where we get the seventh gym badge. But before that, we need to beat this gym and Sabrina's gym. Uh, we're going to go and we're going to see who what kind of trainers are in here. We're going to see how powerful they are. Magneton is okay. That's not bad. I'm gonna go for Confuse Ray. Hurt yourself with Confusion. That's fine with me. Gonna go for a nice powerful Mega Drain and do nothing at all. And Nightshade is doing lots to him. And Jose evolved into Gengar. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's that's just wonderful. Gengar is power. Gengar is just everything that you could ever ask of for a Pokemon. He's like OG. He looks cool, his cry is cool, his moveset is phenomenal, he's just great. I love Gengar. I just wish Gengar was as powerful as Alakazam in this gen. Like, in any other gen, like, Gengar could just, like, chew up and spit out Alakazam. Like, but... Well, not necessarily, because Alakazam is faster, or it might be speed tie, actually. But, uh, where Gengar is part of poison type... That's how, um, that's how Alex, look at his sprite. His sprite is so entertaining. I just love this. I'm gonna go for that. And Tentacruel is not gonna want a Thunderbolt. And you actually, oh, wow, wow, wow. You actually lived it? I'm gonna go, you went into Tentacruel, but I'm gonna kill him off anyway. Trying to learn Dream Eater. Unfortunately, I don't have Hypnosis. That move is fucking phenomenal as well. 
But I'm going to give a Dream Eater instead of Nightshade because if I can manage to get Hypnosis and put things to sleep, it's just going to be a monster. It's going to be a monster. Oh, screw you and your Minimize. Come on, man. Why, are you, why do you do this to me? I need to hit it. I need to hit this thing. This is so stupid. How am I not hitting you? How am I not hitting you? Finally! Dragonair is coming in. Clubbing, go for Aurora Beam. You really pissed me off now. Get out. I'm gonna go heal up now, even though I'm poisoned and paralyzed. They're just like spamming status conditions on me right now, and it's so stupid. You're gonna make me hate you, like, dearly. You have no idea how much I hate all of you right now. Anyway, we are back in the gym, and we are going to go and fight more trainers and find our way to Koga, because this deceitful bastard has walls put all over the place. Invisible walls. Invisible. Uh, okay, come on, Jose, you can do this. Thunderbolt. Electabuzz. Electabuzz, Electabuzz, Electabuzz. Who am I gonna go with? I'm gonna go for Dig, and that killed you anyway. Level 39. Electabuzz is another cool Pokemon. I think that they did him justice by giving him uh, the evolution to Electivire. Gonna go into QB and go for Flamethrower. Rapidash. Mm, gonna go into Clubbin. And I didn't mean to go for Headbutt, but I did. And gonna go for Bubble Beam. Now you're dead. Something about dropping his balls. And this is Koga, if I am correct. I'm gonna save the game at 3333 because I can. And I really hope it actually you know what I gotta go to the Pokemon Mart the Pokemart because I need potions I don't want to lose any more Pokemon the team members that I have are wonderful and I would never want to lose them in a million years I might just cry a little tiny bit just a little bit just a little bit I always used to think that you had to cut through the bushes to actually get to anything but that's only just to make it shorter but that's pretty much it let me go for some super potions I need lots of them I need all the super potions. And I'm gonna get me some full heals. And that's all uh, that's all I really need. I would say let's I'm gonna use cut just to shorten the distance. And hurry up, I need to go heal. And then I'm gonna go fight Koga. And make Koga my little bitch. All right, let's see what Koga is up to. This guy with the headband looking all tough, like whoa. Anyway, we are going to fight you. I'm gonna lead off with I'm gonna lead off with Mojo Jojo since he is clearly the most powerful. Wah ha ha ha! A mere child like you dares to challenge me. Very well, I shall show you the true terror as a ninja master. You shall feel the despair poison sleep techniques. He's so scary. And apparently picks on little children. Alex wants to fight. Sends out Jinx. Well, I could have just sent out QB and I would have been fine. But no, no, no. I, I didn't do that. Gonna send out Victory Bell. Even better. Oh, come on. And Mankey is a thing. Gonna go for Psybeam. And last but not least, Weedle. And I win. Here, take the Soul Badge. Soul Badge is mine. Defense of your Pokemon increases, also allows you to use serve outside of battle. Take that too. TMO6 is actually toxic. Toxic, there's also a rumor about that actually being Pokemon. Since every Pokemon can learn it, it's basically them defecating and throwing it on other Pokemon to make them sick with viruses and stuff like that. Which is just crazy. Like, wow Nintendo, wow, wow. Why would you do such things? And I can actually, look. Good rod. I can actually catch something here. Ghastly is Doob's Claws. So I'm going to try and catch something there. Did I have a Grimer? I think I had a Grimer. I think I had a Grimer. Oh well, I'll pass. So much for that. Even if I didn't have a Grimer, whatever. I'm just going to go into the Safari Zone and get that. Because it is absolutely necessary for me to get Surf. And there is one catch to the Safari Zone. If I I have to encounter one po Since it's so hard to catch Pokemon here. Uh, the first Pokemon I see is one that I have to catch. I have to repeatedly... Okay, Wigglytuff is the Pokemon I can try and catch. 
I'm going to throw a rock at it. And now, basically, if I find another jiggly, uh, or wiggly tough throughout this whole safari zone, I have to catch it. And that's the only Pokemon I'm allowed to catch throughout the entire safari zone. Which I think is fair, because it's so hard to catch Pokemon here. Like, it's just ridiculous. I can, I can imagine there are so many much better Pokemon here than Wigglytuff, though. I could have caught myself a Hitmonchan. That's that's nice. Thank you. Then TM37, which... Is, I, and Sand Slash would have been cool. I would have named him Sanic. Sanic is the appropriate name. Egg Bomb, which can only be taught to execute. And Chansey, if I'm correct. Now we're going to go grab this item down here. Full Restore. There's another item up there, but... Whatever it is, what it is. We are actually going to go, if I'm correct, it's down this way. Nope, there's nothing this way. Nothing this way. I wasted my time. We need to go up here. And we could have got a Paris. Oh, yay. Dupes Claws, anyway. Now, I, I like that the, even for such a primitive game, you can see like the shading on the steps is awesome. Whatever, we're actually, this is actually much more simple than people would think to, like, actually get to surf. I think this is right. Give me this. Max revive. Even if you screw up, you have enough steps to not only get there, but, like, then some, really. I don't even know what that was. No, I did do something wrong after all. I was supposed to go up instead of going down. And we're going to go up this way. I'm not even sure. I can't. It's been so long since I've done this. Like, it's, it's... I remember back when I was a kid, like, this was so complicated to me. And it just seems so hard. Another TM. I gotta go up this way. And go to the left now. And I'm relatively on my way there. And there's a protein. I'm getting all kinds of items here. I'm trying to go around the grass. And now we can actually grab this, which happens to be... Okay, no more room for items. That's what it is. 28 steps. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think I'm going to make it. We found a gold teeth, which is actually very important. 18 steps. Skipping over the item. Don't have enough steps. Okay, we just made it. I'm the first person to reach the secret uh, house uh, campaign prize. Don't have room for this fabulous prize. I have one step left. I can't believe it. That's amazing. Uh, I don't need an awakening because I have the poke flute now. It's no good to me. And now I officially have that. And now my time is up. Got a good haul. Get out of here. Get out of here. I finally have that beaten. And um, I'm actually, so now that I have surf, that's wonderful. I'm actually going to fly to Saffron since that is where I need to go next. There's nothing else really for me to do. Like there's another route for me to go through and there's another Snorlax for me to fight and all those wonderful things. But I'm actually going to call it an episode there. I'm going to keep it relatively short this time around. Um, that's kind of cool, right? I mean, the people will watch it if it's shorter, I, I think. Anyway, I would say if you are a new viewer and you would like to enlist in Rebellion, all, I, uh, all you need to do is suck my subscribe button. Hex like a bunch of that like button, every little bit helps, and I'll be back with bigger and better Pokemon videos, so until next time you guys.